Juliana from Hardcore Italians, and you're watching Italian Things with G. Today, we're gonna be going over our blog post titled, Top 9 Things Italians Do in the Summer. Andiamo! For Italians, summertime is everything. And if you're from an Italian American family, you definitely know that what you guys do in the summertime is a little bit different from what your friends do in the summertime. So without further ado, here are the nine things that Italians do during the summer. Starting off at number one, Italians bring out these chairs. For some reason, all nono and nonas have these chairs in their garage next to the gardening tools. There's something about this chair. It's iconic, and all Italian Americans know about this chair. It's just so funny to me. Every time I go on Hardcore Italians blogs, I look at this and I'm like, I literally thought it was just my grandparents. And you know, you try to like tell your nonna or your nonno about it, and they're like, yeah, I think I saw it at Enza's house. You know, it's like. The iconic Italian American chairs, ladies and gentlemen. Number two, something that we do all year round, we're still getting together, but like there's something about having these get togethers outside. You know, cause you got the cousins playing soccer barefoot, you know, outside on the grass. And then you got, you know, the men drinking their spritzers, you know, the, the wine with the seven up. They're all talking over there, smoking a cigar, or whatever, talking about the latest and greatest. And then you got the women and like the nonnas talking about their gardens and how they're flourishing and how it's almost tomato season. How many you got, you know, it's like this whole Thing, and it really is something so special getting together with the family during summer. Number three, fresh tomatoes. If anyone in your family gardens, you know that tomatoes right off the vine in the summertime is like something you cannot compare to anything else. My favorite thing to do in the summertime is grab a tomato right off the vine from my mother's garden, grab some mozzarella, like literally the tomatoes and apple and like the cheese together, it just tastes like candy. Like this is summertime to me, it's incredible. And going off the whole fresh tomato thing, we go to number four. Fried zucchini flowers, my friend. It is not summer unless we have fried zucchini flowers from the garden. And for those of you who don't know, I created a video on my recipe for fried zucchini flowers and like how my family does them. So if you haven't watched it already, definitely look it up in our playlist, Cooking with G, fried zucchini flowers. It is the best thing in the summertime and if you know what I'm talking about, you're a real one. Number five, hose or power wash the driveway. This is an Italian male thing. This is what they do. They hose the driveways, the sidewalks, whatever in their general vicinity of like concrete, like that whole thing. They take a power wash, they take a hose, and they just spray that sucker. I'm not sure why they do it for as long as they do either. I think they just like it, like it's satisfying to them. Or just like they feel like this needs to get done. No one's gonna do it unless I do it, so I'm gonna do this. Like I feel like that's the Italian male mind. But no, I feel like that would be really satisfying. Like if you were to personally do it, I've never done it because I feel like it's already always done. And like, I feel like even if I wanted to ask if I can do it, it's like, no, this is like a man's job. Like a woman does not do this. I don't know how that makes any sense, but it does because we're Italian and things just make sense even when they don't. <laughs> Number six, Italians tan very easily in the summertime. One of the best things about being Italian is not getting burned and getting tanned in like five minutes. Like I was literally outside one day last week and this happened to me. See that? Look at that. One day, no sunscreen, no, I'm not red. This is what happens though, so fast. We were outside for like 20 minutes. Italian props, man, we get tanned too fast. <laughs> Number seven, in the summer, you're always walking to Nana's house if she lives close by to you, or you're always driving over there just to see her. Check on her, check on the garden, does she need help? It's summer and now Nana and Nono can talk about like what's going on, like the, you know, their projects, the summer projects, man. They mean so much to our grandparents and to go over there all the time and listen to them, it never gets old. Number eight, hang out on the porch for hours. Italians are super close knit, so if we have a chance to sit and talk to each other for hours, we're doing it. And if it's the summertime, we're out on the porch reminiscing life, looking out into whatever view that we have, and just getting into each other's business, and like still there's like some subtle arguments going on, but in the end it's all love and it's all family, and this is what summer's all about, this is what family's all about, being together and being outside, and you know, just hanging out together. And lastly, number nine, picking figs from Nono or Nonna's fig tree. Summertime for Italian Americans is when we talk about figs all the time. No, 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 or maybe your parents have a fig tree. Everyone's got a fig tree. Maybe it's your Zio and Zia who have the fig tree. Someone's got a fig tree. You have an Italian American family. And that person or those people will be talking about this fig tree every chance they get. Figs in the summer for Italians, it's all we talk about. Either that or the zucchinis and how big they are. Definitely an Italian thing. <laughs> what else would you add to this list of summertime things that Italian Americans do? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to tag a paisan. This was Italian Things with G and thanks for watching. Ciao!